Alright guys, before I start this video, um, again I want to thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. I know I've thanked you guys enough, but I can't thank you enough, honestly. Um, but I also wanted to tell you today is my year to, year of doing YouTube. So, October 26th of 2015, I started posting videos. I think I started going daily videos in November of 2015, but still, like, this is my year of YouTube of when I started actually doing YouTube. I did start my account back in 2014, but didn't really upload anything, maybe some drag strip videos. Yeah, it really sucked in the beginning, but, um, we've gotten a lot better. Quality's gotten better, got a better camera, you know. Got a better setup, got some better projects going. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. I wanted to uh, let you guys know this is my year of YouTube and that uh, we're gonna keep doing this. And hopefully, one day we'll hit 100k. I'll be able to go buy a FRS with a blowed motor and uh, do that 2J swap. But uh, so yeah, today's video is just me cleaning the 240 out, removing the interior, or the seats, the front and back seats, and uh, getting down to the carpet. Uh, next video will probably be removing the carpet, um, and getting ready to weld that frame rail on, because that's the main reason of removing the carpet was to, uh, so I can weld the, the new frame rail onto the driver's side and undercoat the inside of the car, so... Yeah, so enjoy this video. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. Um, and if you have any questions, leave a comment and we'll see you guys for the next daily video. So enjoy this video. Peace. What is up, YouTube? So. I'm going to do a 240 video. I was going to do this the other day, but I kept getting my files corrupted. I kept deleting half of it, or it just wouldn't fucking upload. So we're going to try again today. So the car was on the ground last time you guys seen it. Um, what we did was we put the jack on the diff. We jacked her up. We put two jack stands underneath the car. And where you put them in proper spot is this little hump going down. Because nowhere else on this car will take any stress of any weight. So we jacked it up, my Grom was over here, and I couldn't get in the car, so I moved the Grom out of the way, we went over here. Uh, bear with me guys too, because it's fucking freezing, it's like negative 5 degrees outside, and I'm trying to put out some videos for y'all. I had a treadmill here, I removed the treadmill, put my Grom over here, now it's out of the way. Uh, got the 240 up on the jack stands, and... My plan for tonight is to clean the interior out. So what I want to do is I want to remove the seats, put the seats over here to the side for now. I want to try to start pulling the carpet, pull the back seat out. Uh, I'll probably leave the dash in there, we'll see. It probably will come out because like I said, I want to undercoat you know, what they would put underneath the car. I want to do that to the whole interior and the bottom of the car of course, but uh, I want to do the interior first. But yeah um so what we're gonna do is start off by doing is removing the seats i'll have to get my tools ready and uh we're gonna get all the shit that's in the car that doesn't belong to the 240 out we'll take whatever parts that do belong to the 240 we'll lay them on the roof and uh we'll get this thing cleaned out and ready to start working on um i really want to put a roll cage in here i'd like to build my own but i think that might come next year it won't be too much to pull the carpet out and the seats again. But uh, right now, I just want to get the KA back in there and get my money's worth out of the KA. And then we're going to start the SRT swap. And when I do the SRT swap is when we'll do the roll cage. Um, I have a PT Cruiser I'm supposed to be buying. I just haven't had the funds for it. 800 bucks. I wish I could start a GoFundMe, but I hate begging for money. And, uh, I don't know if it'd be worth my time or not, you know, I don't know if I have that many little subscribers yet or not. Um, but, yeah, I want to do an SRT swap to this because I want to be the very first one. And, uh, I haven't decided yet, you guys will have to stay tuned, if the belt motor is going to go in the 240 or if it's going to go in my Neon. It'll probably go in my Neon and I'll probably just put a stock SRT swap in here, but that'll still be pretty nice. Because I'll be pressing three, four hundred horsepower on stock internals. 
I can just put a big turbo in here with stock pistons and rods, and then I can have a 400 horsepower 240, which will be plenty enough power for it. And then I'll have a 600 horsepower big turbo neon, which will be pretty fun. So, um, what I'm going to do right now is get some tools ready to start removing the seats and the uh, carpet in the back seats, and I'll probably clean the trunk out a little bit because I got to get access to the fuel tank because I want to drop the fuel tank also and clean it out. But you can see there's just so much junk in here. But uh well we'll get we'll get it. But first I'm gonna get some tools ready and find a spot to set up the camera and we'll be back. So I'll see you in a little bit. I guess we'll start by cleaning the back of the 240 out. Move this tire out of the way by the way. Um just get all the unnecessary items out of there. Like rags and shit that don't need to be in here. Like, granted, I need them, but I don't need them on the 240. Find all the tools up here. Sunglasses, my favorite sunglasses. Let me find a spot to set this up and I'll be right back. Alright, hopefully it stays there. You guys know I have a ghetto ass set up. Hopefully you can see what's important. Rope. We have a whole roll of rope around there somewhere. Tags. We were going to use these for something. Uh, we wanted to do a, a, a wing on the back, a ducktail spoiler. But ever since I've had that idea, I've had about 50 other fucking people I've seen do it, and I'm just like, don't want to do it now. Let me check to make sure I'm in the shot. Hopefully, you see me talking to you. Water pump gasket, quick snaps for the 240 for the front bumper. You need to stay with the 240, of course. Um, junk ass bulb that needs to be thrown the fuck away because it don't fucking work. More tools, we're gonna make a pile of just tools. I'll carry them all over at one time. I'm really happy for what my channel's becoming, guys. I'm really happy, you know. I thought, you know, let me just try to make a YouTube channel. I see all these people, you know, doing it, and I figured, you know, what what, what could it hurt for me to try? So I, I set up a YouTube channel, just as so pretty much kind of not even out expecting it to make it anywhere. I didn't expect a hundred subscribers, let alone a thousand. And we're up to like a thousand and twenty now, which is fucking sick. Um, but, yeah, dude, I really want to thank y'all. I don't know if y'all really understand how much I appreciate it. That's why I respond to every comment. Like, literally, every comment. Every time you guys comment me and say something, I try to reply to every comment. And I'm going to try to do that all the way up to 100K. You know, that's my goal on YouTube is to hit 100,000 subscribers. If I don't hit it, I don't hit it. But I'm going to try like hell to hit 100,000 subscribers. And if I hit 100K, that should be enough for me to live happily. You know, and to be able to do some really nice builds for you guys. Because I told you at 100K, if you guys got me to 100K, I was going to go out to FRS, BRZ, hopefully an FRS, because I'd rather have the Scion's Toyota version. But I'm going to put a 2JZ in it, and you guys hold me to that. When I hit 100K, if I don't do it, man, unsubscribe. But I'm going to do it for y'all. I want to do that. It's my favorite car. I want to be the first person on YouTube to do a... 2JZ swap. I know Brian Kirk, he has a 2JZ uh, FRS, but he doesn't do any build series on it. And I'm sure everybody wants to see a build series on it. I don't know about y'all, but 2JZ is my favorite motor. Hopefully y'all can hear me. I think I'm going to check real quick just to make sure, you know, I'm not just recording a bunch of mumbling, so. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we were good. I just wanted to make sure I didn't want to be sitting there recording and uh, not get any footage, correct? So, back to cleaning the back of the 240 out. Got ourselves a trash bag, even though I've been carrying the trash over there. Good rag, I'm not going to throw that one away yet. Bottle body cover. A bunch of neon parts in here. 
But like I was saying, I know Chris Forsberg, Chris Forsberg damn it, Ryan Turk did uh, two Jay-Z and his FRS, but he didn't do a build series on it, so I'm sure everybody's going to want to see that sometime in their life, so if you give me 100k, I'm going to make it happen. I need to hook this up on my car too, so that'll be another video one day, a uh, hood latch, hood unlatcher for my neon. Weird enough, it doesn't have one. It didn't come with it. I just never hooked one up yet. A lot of fucking junk. You know. My brother got me this sick ass lathe. I don't ever use it though. It's a, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a Maco. Yeah, Maco Tools LED lenser. It's a really nice, bright light. The battery's dead right now, but. Oh, actually, that's no, not. It dims, I don't know if y'all can see, it's dimming, and it brightens up, the ricer kid, yeah, he got me that, it does some other cool stuff too, I know it does something other cool too, I'm pretty sure it has like a laser or some shit, Whatever. It's a nice light. Um, I don't ever use it though unless I'm working or into a car in the dark. Oh yeah, hey, finally found my other fog light. I thought I sat it up here, I just couldn't find it anywhere. So yeah, now I got another fog light to do yellow. I don't know if y'all seen that video on how to make uh, cheap yellow fog lights. And they last. The, uh, the fog lights I did in the video, kid still has them on the car and he drives it every day. So uh, if you want to check out that video, look up, uh, I think it's do-it-yourself yellow fog lights for cheap. Um, pretty cool. I like it. It works out pretty nice. It lights up yellow too. Just an idea for you guys. Another thing that needs to go in my fucking car that I was slacking on hunting with. I also got the mud flaps. Anybody need any fishing reels? It's like I ain't fishing anymore in my life until I get kids. But uh, yeah. Just trying to clean the back of the two plate off. Not trying to put anything away. Just technically put anything away yet. I wish I knew what this one too. Cool little bracket for something, obviously. You got some quick stamps that I need to uh put away. These are what we removed off Shane's car just because we felt like it was the issue. It probably was because the car hasn't given us issues so. This shit. Junk. I got too much of it, guys. Too much junk in my fucking trunk. Literally. In the trunk. <laughs> Not even funny. Anyways. Now we got the deck basically cleaned off. Cold as shit. I'll tell you that right now, guys. So, I don't know how long this video is going to be. I wanted to put a video out for you guys. So, I'm freezing my dick off. So, hit that subscribe button for freezing my dick off for you guys. That's what you call a loyal uh, YouTuber. Yeah, I wish I wouldn't have jacked the car up until I cleaned this fucking trunk out, but I guess whatever. Uh, vent for the 240 that stays in there. Oh, look, I found the bolts to my ground, finally. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on uh, a for sale video selling all my shit. I don't use. If you think that you have a lot of neon parts, you ain't seen my garage. I have so much shit that really needs to be gone through that I just don't fucking feel like it, dude. You ever get to those points in your life where you, I mean, not in life, but one of those days, I mean, you look at shit and you just don't want to do it. You're like, man, I really don't fucking feel like fucking with that. But you know you gotta do it. I had a kind of subscriber hit me up today and say, you want your channel to grow faster? Do some 240 videos. So here you go, buddy. This is for you. I know that I need to do 240 videos to make my, my channel grow faster. It's just, I want to do it right. It's not a 240 video, but it's 240 related. Probably remove the interior too for this video, but I already said that at the beginning of the video.
really don't know why I have all this shit that I do. Let's see how cold it is outside, guys. It's 42 degrees. Can you guys see that? 42 degrees. Holy shit! This is for you guys, though. Okay, now let's look in here. Can I take the phone? Alright, 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 alright,
trash for deleting the battery and putting it in the trunk. Crossover tube for the intake. Neon spark plug wires. Definitely don't need those in there. I bought paint sticks for fixing something a while back. Sad to say. Stock airbox. Dude, this guy had the stock airbox still hooked up all the way down into the fender. Like, I couldn't believe it, dude. No corner or anything or nothing. Just straight stock airbox all the way into the fender. Like, I don't know if you guys know, but that's kind of rare to see. Especially on a fucking S chassis with coilovers, you know, and all that shit done to it already. There's the actual ECU. I have a buddy who's going to chip this for me, JR. Um, if y'all want to hit him up on Instagram, he does a lot of ECU for Neons. I mean, not Neons, wow. That's the only thing he dealt with. Hondas, 240s, you know, a lot of JDM cars. He can chip it for you. Um, his name is JR Fraser. I'll put a link in the description. I'll probably put it on the screen right now. If y'all want some ECU work done, he's the man to go to. He's going to chip mine for me. Probably for free. Because I'm going to get a shout out for him. Here's the battery wire for the negative. The hosing for the windshield wipers. Came with this fresh ass big radiator. I'm pretty sure it was a uh, Cayo. But it came with the car. So. Wait until you see what I'm about to pull out of here. Second gen e brake for an Eon. That's for the 240. Here's the tranny boot for the 240. Here's the center vents that go in the center of the dash. Here's the coil. Um, probably upgrade that. Strut tire for the front. There's also a strut tire in here for the rear. And I have one for underneath the car. You can stand under my arm for Ella. 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 A. Hey, hey. Weather stripping for... Who the fuck knows where it is? So, the windshield wiper motor, I believe. Here's the windshield wiper motor. There's their center console cubby thing with all kinds of junk and shit in there. Have to clean that out. So let's get this big heavy son of a bitch out of here as long as I can lift it without blowing my asshole out. There's still a lot more trash in here, but. Woo. 50 pound bag of salt sitting in there the whole time. I need that this summer. I mean this winter. Fuck dude. I, don't, I need to go to bed. Oh yeah, steering column of uh, plastics. Now I've got it all cleaned out. I'll show you what it looks like. I'll show you my strut bar. So there's a strut bar. The bag of salt belt was sitting right there the whole time. Luckily it didn't do any damage. But you can see it started to uh, want to hurt it. But it didn't do anything. I didn't know it had wires for the system. Fuck that gay shit. Uh, nothing else down there. Except for some rust. But let's know. Same with this side. Anything good in there? No. So here's the uh, fuel pump cover I have to get to. I need to get a vacuum and vacuum this bitch out real quick. I'm going to go get the vacuum and vacuum that out and I'll be right back when I'm done. But look, look. Coilovers are still like brand fucking new, dude. That's pretty sick. So yeah, I'm going to clean this out with the vacuum. Suck it up real good. I mean, it's not going to be perfect. But I just want to clean it out some. And then this weekend, hopefully this weekend, because it's supposed to be like 70, we'll power wash this whole fucking car out. Hopefully I can have, you know, the back cleaned out, the interior cleaned out. I can pull it up to the driveway with my girlfriend, and we can just power wash the fuck out of this. I got a hole there, so the water won't be stuck in here. But first I have to get all this interior out. Like, all of it. Oh, look, it does pop up and out. So it's out right now. Cool. I didn't know it came out like that. I was trying to get the out to begin with. Ugh, fuck. I need to find like a box or something to put all this shit in. 
I'm gonna look for a box and I'm gonna look for my vacuum and I'll be back. So see y'all in a little bit. Guys, so we got this plastic crate out. We put all the wiring harness in there from the engine because I had it sitting upstairs in a cardboard box. Took it out of the cardboard box, stuck it in there. Stuck the ECU, what I could fit in there up on the plastic and shit. You can see it's packed tight now. But uh, that's it. There's a little glimpse in there. Nothing special, just wiring and plastic. There's the rest of the parts sitting on top. There's the radiator. Everything's out of the back. We got the vacuum cleaner set up over here. Now we just gotta suck all this shit up as best as we can. I want to get up in there, but I'm kind of scared, but we're going to try it anyways. We're going to vacuum that out, and then we'll probably pull the two front seats out and be done for the night. So, we'll see how long it takes to clean the back of this thing out, and then uh, how long it takes to remove one of the seats. So, see you in just a few seconds. Alright guys, so we got our nice and vacuumed out, cleaned out. Looks a lot better than what it did. Even did downside the cracks in there and there. Downside inside there. James Doll back in there. Oh look, there's a CD. It is something felt like it was getting stuck. Anybody need a experienced music 2.0 CD? I don't. Back in down the side of there. There's a little spider web or something there, but whatever. Vacuumed all that shit off the walls. Looks a lot better now. Now to tear them front seats out. So, let's get it to the front of the car. Well, I'm going to put the back away first and I'll be back. Alright guys, so now we're in the interior area. So, to remove the front seats, there's going to be four bolts that you have to remove. One right here, one right there. And then you'll take your lever and slide the seat forward. I'd remove the rear ones first. Um, there's a plastic cover there. And then there's a plastic cover on this side. You just slide out. And the same thing with this one. You just slide off. Take that bolt out, take that bolt out. And then your seat will be ready to move out. So I believe they are 15 millimeters. Or 14 because it's a freaking JDM car. Exactly, I, I knew it was a 14 because it's stupid JDM. Yep, 14, so we're gonna remove all four of those and then we'll pull the seat out. So let me set the camera up and I'll be right back. Mm. I don't know how well the footage is going to be for this angle, but do what I can do to get the best footage possible. We're just going to remove the front seats, and that's going to be the video for tonight. Especially with the lights falling and shit. seat is ready to fucking be removed. So what I would do is let it pull forward like so. Push it up this way and then pull it towards you because of that bone on the back. Grab it from the headrest hole and pull it around. And obviously we're connected by something. See so I have a zip tie under here if you want to save it. Put a little tab, 
and then pour your zip tie apart. Because fortunately you can actually see it. Oh, it's a seatbelt wiring. So you don't even have to unplug it there, you can unplug it right here. And now you see moved out of the fucking way. Remember, like I said, squinch it up, pick it up, move it out of the way. And now, do the passenger side. Man, it needs cleaning there, don't it? Disgusting. I like to put all the bolts back where they're supposed to be, just so they don't get mixed up. Because sometimes bolts are longer than others. And sometimes people cross-thread them before you get it. Another reason I got to remove all the carpet, besides doing the... Uh, the undercoating is I have to put the new frame rail on. If you're new to the channel, you can go check out that video where I removed the old frame rail that was rotted like shit. And I bought a new frame rail, which is right there. Got really lucky there. As you can see, there's no frame rail on there right now. Like the other side. And then it hits the old, uh, the back half, which was fine. I need to reinstall the new front half. Which will be a video of itself, but first we have to, uh, get the carpet out of here. And, I might buy a new carpet, but this carpet don't look too bad. It looks like it just needs clean real good. I'll we'll probably vacuum it real good before we take it out. Um, I'm gonna go remove the other seat, and, uh, same process, and I'll be right back. All right, now the passenger side seat's ready to come out. Same process. Pull it this way. Push it up. Come on out. Although I'm not gonna be able to record myself pulling it out. Okay, now the passenger side seat's up. One thing I noticed that was kind of cool is this thing has a 240SX format. Never noticed that the whole time I owned this car. Anybody who's got a good clean set of those, I like to buy them. Especially if they say 240SX on them. That's pretty sick. Now for the back seat, which I'm not ready to do tonight because I'm tired, it's cold, and this video is probably long enough. We'll make it tomorrow's video or a couple from now, we'll see. Like I said, a lot of this stuff's got to stay in here because it's 240 parts, but I like that cooler in those boxes, they're going to go somewhere. Interior pieces can stay. Just because I don't want it getting all... I guess the back seat might just come right out. Let me set this camera up real quick. I don't know what you can see, but I'm going to try it to remove the back seat. My luck is probably not even mounted in. So, not a good thing. You guys can see that was easier than what I expected it to be. Now we've got to clean all this nasty wiring up. Stupid systems. I don't rock systems in my cars. Too much added weight. Look at that. We had a fucking mouse nest in here. That's lovely. How hard does the back one come out? I think you just pull these little tabs and it comes off. But yeah, if you see right here, 240 owners that never took the back seat out, you just pull this little tab, 
That's kind of cool, inconvenient. This side it's broken, but still cool. Oh yeah, well I put these bolts back. I never seen that. I know the neon is just yanking hard enough it pops up out of there, but that's cool how it has like a little lever you pull. Yes, I'm sure that these uh, seats have been removed before. I'm sure there's some space to pull it down. See, we've got this like little uh, styrofoam shit that doesn't need to be there. Probably gonna strip all the sound deadening out. That's all out of the way. Probably can get 50 fucking pounds worth of sound deadening out of here. Pretty sure these things are probably gonna be clipped in right there somehow. But uh, we're gonna try to pull those two tabs and see if it'll come out real quick. And then we'll be done with this video. Hopefully you can see. question there's two there and there's two on the side of course we'll remove those and once we get those out we will pull the seat out so see you in just a minute okay focus motherfucker now it's time to pull it out so pull it straight to you and that's done now we're going to stick our bolts back in there. I don't want to be looking for these fucking bolts when I want to put the car back there. Main reason we put this shit back. But yeah. Now, now, this video is going to be done. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. So you can, uh say you enjoyed it if you ain't subscribed to the channel already hit that subscribe button so you can stay with the build uh, if you have any questions leave a comment down in the comment section follow me on instagram at that neon channel all one word underscore 2.0 go hit my girlfriend up on instagram follow her at that underscore neon underscore channel Send me pictures of your car to put at the end of the videos. Because one of these days I'll start doing that shit. At jsulik420 at gmail.com. It'll probably be on the screen or in the link in the description. Um, what else was I going to say? Share the videos if you have any person that's about to strip their 240 interior. And uh, stay tuned for tomorrow. I don't know if tomorrow's going to be a 240 video or what it's going to be. It might be pulling the gas tank out of it. Or it might be stripping the carpet out. Or something to do with that effect. But either way, it should be a 240 video or something related. Some kind of car video. Either way, tomorrow we'll have a video put out. I want to thank you for 1,035 subscribers. Our channel is still growing. And, uh... Like, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, peace. Alright, all right, guys, today's car of the video goes to Prov Vic for his 05 Sudoka Octava VRS 1.8 Turbo with 250 horsepower stage 1 map. Looks like a BMW to me, guys.